Heliopolis. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, my fellow countrymen, the citizens, the children of Egypt, men and women, I address you today to the youth of Egypt stationed in Tahrir Square and nationwide. I address you all with a speech from the heart, a speech from father to his children, to his sons and daughters. I tell you, I take pride in you, the symbol of a new generation of Egypt, calling for the change to the better, adhering to the same, dreaming of a bright future and shaping such a future. I tell you before anything that all those who fell martyrs and injured, their blood will not go down the drain. And I confirm that I will not relent to penalize all those responsible fiercely and strictly and I will hold accountable those who committed crimes against the rights of our youth to the most severe sentences according to the law and I address the families of those innocent victims that I felt deep pain the same pain you felt my heart went out and I felt the pain as you did. I tell you that my response to your voice and your message and your demands is a commitment that cannot be waived. I am totally determined and adamant to fulfill all the promises genuinely Honestly and seriously, I'm totally keen on implementing all these promises with no return backwards. This commitment stems from my firm conviction of the genuineness and truth of your intentions and your movement and that your demands are lawful and legitimate. Mistakes are likely in any political regime in any state. However, it is important to admit to mistakes and rectify such mistakes at the earliest and penalize those responsible. I tell you, my fellow countrymen, in my capacity as the president of the state, I cannot find any embarrassment at all in listening to the youth of my homeland and responding to them. However, all embarrassment comes from and the wrongdoing comes from and I cannot and will not accept to be dictated orders from outside no matter what the source is and no matter what the excuses or justifications are my fellow countrymen the youth of Egypt my fellow citizens I announced in very plain unequivocal words that I will not run the coming presidential elections. Satisfied with the what I have offered to the nations for over 60 years in the time of war and peace, I announced that I will adhere to this position and I also announced that I will similarly remain adamant to continue to shoulder my responsibility protecting the constitution, safeguarding the interest of the people until the authority and power is handed over to this to be elected by the people in September coming in the fair and free elections where all the guarantees for transparency and integrity will be secured. This is the oath I have taken before God and before the nation. And I will continue to keep this oath until we, with the people, rest assured. I have laid down a vision, a clear one, to exit the current crisis and to realize the demands voiced by the youth and citizens in compliance with the constitutional legitimacy without undermining the constitution and in a manner that ensures the stability of our society 
and the materialization of their demands. At the same time, laying down a framework to be agreed upon for the peaceful transition of power through the responsible dialogue among all the forces of society with absolute veracity and transparency. I laid down this vision, committed to my responsibility to take the country from these harsh moments, and I will continue to observe the implementation step by step, hour by hour, looking forward to the support and the backing of every person keen on people the people's interest in order to translate them into concrete reality uh, within broad consensus in the nation to ensure the proper implementation which will be sponsored and safeguarded by the intrepid armed forces. We have initiated a very constructive national dialogue encompassing the youth of the people who called for change together with all other political forces and this dialogue has yielded in a preliminary agreement in stances and views. Therefore, we can lay our foot on the right path to exit the crisis, and we should continue marching into this path to move from the guidelines of the agreement reached into a clear roadmap and a specific timetable. This will go day after day, day by day, on the path of peaceful transition of power from today till September next. This national dialogue has converged on the formation of the Constitutional Committee to examine the constitutional am amendments required, together with the necessary parallel necessary legislative uh, amendments. Also a steering committee to ensure the precise implementation of the promises I made before the people. I am keen on the, the formation of these two committees to be comprised of independent and transparent jurist legal professional and professionals. In addition to the victims that have fallen in the unfortunate tragic events which left deep pain in our hearts and shook the, the conscience of the people, I handed down my orders to speed up the investigations in the last week's in events and to refer the outcomes to the chief prosecutor to take the necessary legal actions. Yesterday, I have received the first report on the constitutional amendments with top priority as proposed by the committee I had formed from the jurists and legal experts to examine the constitutional amendments and legislative ones. And I, in response to the report laid by the committee and their recommendations and by virtue of the powers vested in the President of the State, as per Article 189 of the Constitution, I today proposed the amendments of six constitutional articles, Article 6, 76, 77, 88, 93 and 189, in addition to the annulment of Article 179 of the Constitution, confirming that I am prepared to propose at a later stage to amend the um, articles as per the recommendations of the Constitutional Committee as required. These amendments, the top priority amendments, aim at streamlining and simplifying can requirements of candidacy to the presidency and the term of office in to ensure the rotation of power, reinforce the supervision of our elections to ensure it is fair and transparent. It also gives the exclusive jurisdiction of judiciary to rule upon the legitimacy and validity of the members of the parliament 
Muhammad. And the proposal.